no, 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 no. So once I was escorted in, it, it looked like the sort of the hotel lobby in, in the movie The Shining because um, there's like there's no one in the foyer, and uh, and the only people there to greet you are, are dressed in hazmat suits, talking through uh, talking through uh, telephone translators. Thank you. Okay. Oh yes, please. Yes or no? Yes. And it's hanging over them constantly. They're not able to enjoy it. One of the great things about the Olympics for athletes is that, you know, they go to the Olympic Village and they meet people from other countries and from other sports. And and uh, they're not able to do that this time. So, you know, I spoke to the Australian team. They won a gold medal last night. They couldn't celebrate. You know, there's no celebration. Someone just won a gold medal. They can't even celebrate. So it's really been, it, it you know, and... It's really been difficult for athletes. There's a lot of uncertainty They, You know, they have to leave within 48 hours of their events being finished. It's not, it's not a happy Olympics.